Science doesn't care whether you believe in it or not. The facts will continue to exist and persist whether you have your thoughts aligned with it or you don't. It's also not a thing that directly opposes families or people living their lives they want to live. This is just a way that we understand the world in a greater context than we ever have before. And now it's being treated as an enemy, at least to this White House. It has forced people who don't normally become political to become political. It has forced scientists to not even only run for office, but to also uh, resist and continue to rebel in even small ways, particularly when we have decided that the facts need to be gagged. In particular, many official government Twitter accounts along with any other form of media discourse. And that has led to a lot of different uh, rogue Twitter accounts this week that arose from being told to stop. Or rather, I am really proud of a one South Dakota National Park social media intern who decided to rebel from Badlands National Park, um, now apparently from Bad Ombre NPS, to uh, tweet something very simple, which is seen as an act of rebellion, but is really simply just climate facts, nature facts, and the environment facts. These are things that exist, and it's insane that this level of um, stating plainly is considered opposition to a government that now is run by someone who is in deep denial about the existence of climate change and many other environmental options and has gone to the point where if one Twitter account shows that the inauguration was not that big or perhaps someone told alternate facts about the size of it, uh, that they're all gagged or taken down or being told to stop. Never mind the fact that it is actually the law for agencies like NASA to show their findings to the people who fund it, the taxpayers. You remember that scene in The Martian where Kristen Wiig's character is talking about when they have to release the information that they've spotted something on Mars, uh, that something being Mark Watney. Um, that wasn't something that was just a literary plot or a film plot. That was something that is actually based in fact. That is the law that we have to do. So now we are working in a field where scientists do have to stand up and arm themselves and work for what should be plain and what should be considered a normal part of our government. And a lot of it that was federally funded, by the way. Um, and now we have the March for Science. So we have it started as a simple idea on the politics subreddit on Reddit and now has expanded to something with a lot of support. It's another Twitter account that is has gone rogue or is going crazy because it believes in um, people knowing things and not cutting people off. Because when you know more, you make better choices. When you're blinded to things and when you believe you're powerless is when you become powerless. And that is not something that should ever be considered American, and that is why we must resist. So right now we have the science march on uh, Washington, but there will be ones across the country. However, I do want to point out this tweet from the organizers. An announcement of the date of the march will be coming in the next few days. In the mean, while there has been tremendous interest in local marches around the U.S. and internationally, we're all for it, but we don't want duplicated effort with 10 people planning marches in the same city. We're going to be releasing tools in the next few days to help you coordinate with people in your local area. So we don't have it all put together just yet, everyone. We're going to have to wait for the meantime for an official date and then have official organized marches because we need to show those numbers again. And numbers should not be ignored. Data should not be ignored. The loud voice of the people should not be ignored. And I know right now it looks bleak, but if you stop trying, that's when they start winning. That's when people start profiting off of your feeling that you are powerless or your sheer apathy, which should not be part of the American process. Audience, would you participate in the March for Science? Please let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.